بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. So he's mentioning a story here regarding one the Hakim Sam. There's a Hakim, a doctor in Tanabawan. So Mala Shabit Hani Rahmatullahi, he needed to go to the, he needed a doctor for some reason. So somebody suggested to him that why don't you just tell him that you know and he will more than happy come for your khidma. Like if on like Mala is here, Mala needs something. I'll go there and serve him and you really not serve him whatever he needs, I'll go there, not a problem. But he says no. He goes, I know that if I call him, he'll come and he won't even be like burdened that oh he's calling me, I can't say no. He'll be honored to come and he'll feel really happy that I called him. However, I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. Because Zarurat al Hajat to Medihi is my need. I am the Talib. Because I am the Talib and it's my need, I should go to him. Do you understand? So this is his uh the and respect that even though he's a senior, he's elder, he's an alim, he's saying that because it's my need, I will go to him myself. To call him over, that's not appropriate. So we should consider when we are doing when we are dealing with somebody else, if it is our need, we should make sure that we then go on the person according to his needs, his necessities, his structure. Like for example, one example that comes to mind is sending voice notes. Now a voice note is quite hard to deal with. If you've got a text, you can just browse through it very quickly. You got all you got all text message. You can just look at through it again quickly. You got voice notes. It's like it's a two minute voice note. Oh, it's got sometimes you are like, busy. You don't have, you don't have two minutes to listen to your voice note. If you wrote it down, it's easy. So if somebody, if you are asking questions, you're the talib. It's your need. You should write the message. And if that person wants to reply in a voice note, it's your need. So you have to listen to his voice note. But if uh, unless there's a there's a, a like a, a general agreement or something, but generally speaking, people receive a lot of messages. Voice notes are very burdensome. A voice and a voice note. Write it out. Take the difficulty of mashaqqa. It's a bit lazy on your behalf not to write it out. Because the person can just read it very quickly and half the amount of time you can just browse through it. So that's again. If the person is in, you are in need, then you should, you should look, consider that person is, is in comfort. You understand? And wherever the person replies, if he replies in a voice message, it's up to him because he's giving you, you need the answer, so you have to listen to the message. You understand? So that's adab. If somebody, you need something from somebody, then you should be according to their circumstances, their timings, their timing as well. If I need you, then I need to say, well, what time suits you? Then I have to adjust according to, according to what your needs are. 